Welcome back everybody, Todd Huey here with uh, Lone Star Boars, Huey Outdoors. I can't believe Pulsar did this. This is now, in my opinion, the best bang for the buck. I mean, the lowest price best scope out there. This is the new Talion XQ35 Pro. It is replacing the Talion XQ38, which only recently came out. Why they did this, I do not know. Um, I can assume that it's a production deal. They just wanted to uh, be able to use the same lenses and the same sensors and not have to go out and buy a different lens and a different sensor for one scope when they have multiple scopes uh, now that uh, and, and monoculars that'll be using this. So that's the only reason that I could think that they would do something like this. Now, this has the exact same improved 35 millimeter lens that the Thermion XQ35 Pro has. It has the same sub 25 millikelvin sensor that the XQ35 Pro Thermion has. Same screen, same, so same image as its big brother, the Thermion. Thermion, $3,000. Talion XQ35 Pro, $49.97, so $4,500, or $2,500, sorry, $25, $25,997, so $500 cheaper. I, look at that, it's a smaller package, it's definitely lighter. I don't know why you would buy the 35 now. Uh, I was talking to some people about it, trying to think what on earth Pulsar was thinking. The only thing I could, you know, if you if you run a bolt gun for some reason, you need old, old, old bolt gun, and you don't have certain, you can only use rings, maybe. If you just like the looks of this, maybe. Um, it's got a little bit longer run time, seven to nine hours, where this is getting seven hours. Other than that, they have the exact same image, the same, functions it has picture in picture video recording audio wi-fi i mean there is no difference except for the size and the price and the batteries this uses an internal battery and an aps or an aps3 battery this uses the aps 5t now now we're talking about batteries the very first talions that came out in fact mine the prototype that i got before they came out when i was playing with it was turning off under recoil. So they, they improved the, the battery latch. There was something going on with the battery latch. That, that got fixed, but then there were still some turning off. Well, it turns out, so these, the original scopes, the original Talion shipped with an APS-5 that had a little, I don't know, dropped it here. Has this little bitty piece on it. It's an adapter that would, you would put over the end cap that would make it fit into the scope properly and hold position. Something about this was causing the scopes to turn off under recoil. The new one, which is an APS-5T for Talion, it only works with the Talions. They look exactly the same. I can't tell the difference, but I will say this scope comes with two of these batteries, two of the uh, APS-5Ts. I took both of these batteries and this battery out because I looked at them like, eh, there's, there's nothing. Uh, I ran one of the batteries down. I replaced it with the non 5T right as I got on a group of hogs. And I got one hog out of, there was 15 or so there. Could have got several more kills. Every And then I tested it. Every time I pulled the trigger, it turned off with this battery. With both of these batteries, I couldn't get it to turn off. I was using on a Noveski AR10-308. Uh, no issues with the batteries it came with. So. If you have one of the older Talion XQ38s and you're having uh, power off issues, get the APS 5T battery. It will fix it for you. If you're ordering batteries, if you get one of these and you want extra batteries, again, the APS 5T. Make sure, because there's, there's some of these I think that are still running around and it's just an APS 5 with an adapter and you do not want that because it's gonna cause you issues. Um, Again, seven to nine hour battery life, seven hour battery life, but this comes with two batteries and you can get more. The batteries are $79, $80 for extra batteries. 
Uh, this also comes with a mount. It doesn't come with this mount that it's on right now, but the Talion does not come with a mount, so you have to buy rings for the Talion. So for the flat 24, 99, 97, whatever it is, this one comes with a mount. Uh, the mount that it does come with is just a screw tightened down, not a return to zero. For $99, there's this accessory that would work with the trails or the talions, and it's a return to zero mount. I put that on mine because I wanted to be able to take it off and put it back on. Um, again, all the same features, focus ring, picture in picture, video recording, all of that. These are available and in stock now at Huey Outdoors. I'll put HueyOutdoors.com. I'll put the link in the description. The batteries are in stock as well if you need those or if you have the older one and you need a battery that um, if you're having any of the turn off under recoil issues, uh, that will fix that. Unfortunately, um, I pulled a rookie mistake. We're gonna look at the video here in just a second. We're gonna go into the video on this just so you can see, but a Pulsar out of the box Two of the presets that I think are asinine. I don't know why they do this, is the microphone's turned off and the shutter is turned to automatic. Those are terrible settings. It should come out of the box with the microphone turned on and the shutter or the nuke or the reset should be, whatever you wanna call it, should be set to semi-automatic. So the first thing you should do, which I did not do, we're not gonna have sound, because I did not turn on the microphone because I forgot that they come out of the box like that. And there's gonna be a couple of times as soon as I take a shot, it's gonna nuke and this screen freezes for a split second. That can mess you up. So I highly recommend the first thing you do when you get any Pulsar scope, not this, Thermions, whatever, is turn the microphone on and turn at least the uh, nuke or the, the recalibration to semi-automatic or manual and it'll save you a lot of problems. The automatic, for at least shooting purposes, I, it just nukes way too often and, and at the wrong time. All right, we'll go into the um, hunting footage. It's hot, it's, it's, I was up in Northeast Texas, it was humid, we were out kind of close to a large water source, so it's dry everywhere here in the state, so not the best image. I mean, uh, as it starts to cool off, it's gonna get better. But again, you're not going to beat this image, this price, or this shape and this amount of reliability and from a company that you can trust in this price range. Let's go look at the footage. All right, we turned the microphone on. I'm just hand holding this, so it might be a little shaky. Filming my dog chasing a squirrel back here. Uh, just so you can see what the audio is. This is middle of the day, so everything's pretty hot. And I changed it to white hot. Um, he just came out of the air conditioning, so he looked a little bit a little bit more black in him than what he would normally have. But let's look around here. I mean, kid swing set. This thing has some um, very good clarity for the price. We're back here where it's not as humid as well, so uh, I'm getting a much better image than what it was out in the field. So see, I have it set to semi-auto. It hadn't nuked yet. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna nuke it, nuked it there myself, and um, it's just much easier. You start getting some kind of buildup where you in the scope and it starts to be in less clear, and you don't like it, nuke it yourself. Um, if you're gonna leave it to film like on a tripod and you're not gonna you're not gonna be there to control it then that's when you would use the um, the the auto nuke it's so hot out here that um, when, once he gets in the Sun you see the temperature outside is hotter than what he actually is all right, we'll go to the hunting footage now. I just wanted you to hear what the microphone sounded like. Okay, single bore out here in the field. Right here, watch. That is what happens when you auto-nuke. And it's going to happen again in just a very short time. If, if you're making running shots, it's very aggravating. Or if you have a limited time to make your shot, 
I, this is what I was talking about by recommending either automatic uh, recalibration or manual. See, look, it froze up again. That's what you're going to deal with. Took a shot, hit him in the side of the neck, um, ran a little bit. Now he's down. And by the way, this audio is not from the scope. This is also from where, um, just straight out of the box, the microphone is turned off. We're going to have a group here. They're about 60 yards. Open field, a little bit of grass, not too tall. To me, the image of this scope, uh, the Talion XQ35 Pro, got a double there, pretty cool, is on par with the original Trail XP5640, if not actually better. It is amazing how far technology has come. So now you can get a uh, $2,500 scope that is on par or actually a little bit better than a uh, $5,000 scope was just a few years ago. What you're seeing there in front of the screen is my hand while I'm focusing it, so my finger's getting in front of the screen. Again, these are about 60 to 70 yards, a little bit bigger pigs. I've switched to the semi-auto nuke now, so it's not nuking as fast. Now they've run into the tall grass, which has been a problem this, this whole trip. As you see, some of them totally disappear there. Got a hit on him. He died over the hill. Same with that one. And this one goes down right at the top of the hill here. And that was a fast nine pigs out of that group. Last one here. There's actually two pigs here. You can see the tractor in the background to the left of the pig as I pan back. So you have the detail to identify objects. Uh, tall grass, high humidity. The other pig is just, the grass is too tall. You can only see this one. But hopefully this will give you an idea. I did it all in black hot. Um, again, high humidity, tall grass. The image will only approve as um, winter approaches. All right, guys, this, this Talion XQ35 Pro, I mean, the image is amazing. It's, it's outstanding for the price. You're not going to get a better image, better quality build, any of that, like I said before, at this price. These are in stock now at HueyOutdoors.com. Link is in the description. Um, if you're looking for a buddy scope or you're, you're on a budget, I know thermal's expensive, but in the thermal war, world, this amount of performance non-Chinese um, product is damn near impossible to get. Uh, again, I don't know how or why Pulsar did this, but um, this is great for the uh, consumers that are looking for something in the sub 3K price range. Thank you for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe. Like the video as always, comment below.